Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I am Nadia from Skippy Skittle on Instagram. I post planner photos, functional planning, planner tutorials, planner flip throughs on my channel. So feel free to scroll back my past and previous videos for some planner inspiration. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram so you won't miss anything that I post. Tempo has reached critical level. I would recommend you to custom your planner. Um, any shop that offers customization. So for example, this one is from the Buku Girls. So I custom it myself. I design all of their uh, pockets and even the, all the measurement so that it could fit this thick chunky inserts. I didn't count the insert though, but how many pages, but you can actually close it. And a ring size is 30 millimeter, and that's how you can store your very thick insert. So this is like my one whole year. I have weekly, dailies, trackers, my monthlies, everything in place. Um, I do store them. I don't throw them away because of my course um there's information there's my appointment stuff memory keeping and as well as the stickers that i always use every single day so it's right here so i'm gonna flip it through and walk you every single insert so it's not like a decorative it's just that to hold everything inside and this will be um, called as this planner itself will be 2019 planner so it will stay like this throughout every single time and I won't be using this planner anymore uh, because I want it to hold this insert so it's like a storage binder for 2019 that I figured it out uh, throughout this year so I just have like this this divider actually um this just to protect this in front cover so this cover is from 15 April um this cover that I made myself um actually I just want it to be like it's just the the front cover without the tabs but because since I just have this this is actually my sh it's the divider is actually um wrongly punch and wrongly measured so that's why i just use it for the sake of keeping my friend cover um protected and yeah secure because the other day when i don't have this front cover plastic thingy um it, it ruined my dashboard so that's why so this one i ordered from 15 april i love it so i just put it that in front so i'll go through one by one um this is my monthly and my tra my habit tracker and here is my weekly continue by my weekly dailies and then some miscellaneous stuff behind it i'll share with it, with you okay so front right here actually i have two monthlies if you watch my my previous videos i like to have two monthlies which are the first one called my memory keeping monthlies where i put like events thoughts and everything and then there's the actual planning where i really really plan in my calendar or as well as i decorate them monthly memory keeping um i ended not using my insert in june yeah in july i didn't do anything because i just i just can't keep up with it um, but I really like this, um, my old, old um, style of doing it. I love how it turns out and I love grids. My monthly is always grid and Peanuts Planner Co has it so I use that. So I did like decorate and memory keeping in it but then I stopped. Uh, I, just, I just couldn't keep up on that time, probably I was down or something. Uh, then I start back in June. Also, I left out some stuff. And then that's okay. For my monthly planner, I always have this decorative stuff in front. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. Insert. It's a freebie. You can get it on 
uh, Instagram, uh, sorry, the um, Peanuts Panico Facebook group. Uh, yeah, usually I just decorate stuff. I just put like, yeah, double sided on this die cut that I printed out. It's a G digital. So I just put it in front. So this is how normally I will do. So for the first uh, January, oh, I have another insert. I don't know where it goes, but Jan January and then February, this is how I normally track my work schedule and all of like information stuff, um, holidays, Ramadan. Um, yeah, if I have like a holiday, and this is actually a school holiday in Malaysia. And then, yeah, wedding. Yeah, that's how I always track them. And now we're moving on to my habits. Been using this for quite some time since 2018. So I love this format and it has been like two years I've been using this style. And I really, really like how it turned out. So this is how my tracker works. First, on top, I have the... Oh, by the way, this is from Peanuts Panicle insert. January is the month. And then there's days right there. Um, normally, I would just put the days correspond to the numbers on top. And then... My AM routine, which is I wake up, um, t the timing, and then um, when I cleanse my face wash and stuff like that, or and then I track my dress up. Like let's say I was feeling pretty and I want to doll myself up. So yeah, that one, and yeah you know what this is <laughs> and then cut my nails wash hair all this is like personal stuff and then i have like my salad um my sleeping routine i was like tracking this in the first time like doing the sleeping routine stuff but then you, you will see eventually i stopped doing it and then um when i date with my boyfriend and this is like my mood I love to see graph, so that's why I have this. And then um, exercise, I don't do them that much, so I need to improve that in 2020. And then I have like the neck time, um, level of anxiety, all my fit, my planner feel stuff uh, like post post, Instagram photo, um, crafting, planning, a sticker. Um, when I use stickers, um, watch YouTube, PR pose, and then I have like Korean journaling right here, uh, movies or watch a TV drama on, on Netflix, and then my spending, and my night routines. So that's when I go to sleep. So here we go throughout. I have that. Okay. It's gonna be like the same. So right here, sometimes I do like, um, sometimes those things doesn't apply to me for that month. I will opt it out or remove it from this list. And yeah, I will change as it goes. Sometimes I will change this mood tracker down below, but for now I just keep it like consistent like that just to see and then I have my um yeah walk time and whatnot uh then it change because I like how to see changes so yeah I have a tip for you if you really want to, to keep up um actually I don't really write all of this in a day so for example I don't check this in every single day sometimes so this categories are actually in my dailies so i note it down so when i want to fill this up uh, again i will refer back to my dailies and you know just check it off one by one and sometimes it's okay i sometimes not doing for a week or for like four days or five days i left it and then i can come back and see my dailies and and i will just check off based on what i do so that's how I always get them filled 
um sometimes i do it on the on the day itself uh if it's like yeah not proper or maybe you know it's not that um yeah it's like i just do it not to think about like uh, it would be perfect or that kind of thing then on Ju in july i stopped doing it and that's just okay i move on and i start back um yeah if you can see it right here and when i, s I have sickness i will just note it down just i love looking back at my moods and how it goes and what happened during the time i can look back and then this is in august i love august just so pretty and then yes this is november so i'll continue in this book which is this is for december this month uh, i'll show you So this is oh. So this is the continuation of November and then my December is here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is the Zim December. And yeah. Uh I got the same thing and i think i'm loving the new look of my december so yeah that's how it is see how it how it change every time sometimes i put stickers sometimes i don't sometimes i use just um highlighters and so i use this type of highlighters um you can buy this one from Daiso. It comes with a pack of four. Let me show you the colors. This is actually great if you want to start using it. Or you can buy the mild liners from Zebra. The brush. Or the highlighter itself so it depends on you which one do you like um, personally I just use everything that I have for now and you also could use some colors like all these dots I like it black but if you like to track more like rainbows you could actually use this you know this that below colored pants or any other type of brands yeah Alright, so now we are moving into weekly. So beginning of the year, I tried this week on one page. So you can see the weekly view. Actually, when I start planning, I don't like this type of view because it's like horizontal view. But then beginning of the year, I was like, okay, why not we just try this type of view? And I totally fell in love with it. So I'm using Peanuts Penis Co. Um, one one week per page and i start using it for my classes um work stuff and weddings you know i can see like the whole page what's happening and uh, basically it's just for my work and tasks for the week so i just want to see like the whole week here and then when i got into i'm not sure the dates because sometimes i just don't care about the months or whatever because i'm just looking by weekly uh, everything else is just it doesn't matter it's not like re really i want to make it pretty i just you know see the overview um and then i started using this to correspond with my weeklies so i don't want to have dailies i wanted to see my weekly view so i use this concept as a jibun tracker um i custom it with boost paper rock or you can now boost paper rock change her name to dazzling printable um so i custom it with her this jibun tattoo layout and i'm totally loving it this is actually my planning week um it's just like to test and then 
I start using it for the for the first few my few weeks. And then some things happened to this insert. My cat peed on it and <laughs> I don't have any, you know, that feel anymore with this insert. So I changed. Yeah, and then I stopped using it and then I changed back to this type only without using this. I think I probably use um, daily inserts, but then I stopped using all of this already um yeah so i stop so what happened i will show you in this uh after i stopped using this and then shift to my dailies and then i found out about this insert i will show you soon for now i'm just gonna talk more about yeah this is how i segregate my tasks in a weekly view um yeah this is a weekly view so this is just for appointments for uh, things to to go to or any events it's here um, but more in depth in my my dailies and weeklies um, focusing on weeklies I have like personal ongoing tasks work shop important stuff home project list finance so I put it like in a category type of format and as well as decorating it just to make it happy so some weeks i only have like few things because i just want to focus on that and not every time that i have it but this really works for me so but then when i got into this insert so my summer touch came out with a format called mon weeklies it's monthly and a weekly formats from there i stopped using this <laughs> at all and i stopped using other inserts because look at this this is like my whole year of insert and i'm i don't know i love it i love how summer touch design um monthly and weeklies together i have the video i will link it in the description down below where i explain but i just want to flip through with you guys what i did and i'm going to open it one by one. Oh, by the way i did some tabs to actually um note this is january and i have it until november because i stopped using in december so yeah, I stopped using it in December. I'm using another type of weekly. I will show you later and after I flip this one. So I'm gonna show you like a time lapse of my fold out insert. Tempo has reached critical level. Okay guys, so time to flip. That's how one by one i just did a time lapse for you to see and here you go so for the first month of january this insert was given to me in february so i had to like back plan uh but i was just trying to figure out how to actually use an insert so for me if you have a new type of format or insert um i will actually try to plan it before first i'll try to figure out where to put things um what to put and from there i can develop more so right here i still have my um weekly in front which is from peanuts planner co right here where is it uh, here i still use this but at the same time i try to incorporate in this um insert so as the month goes let me show you this so why is it called mon, mon weekly it's because it's, you can see the monthly overviews and as well as the weekly so your weekly weekly will go horizontal so as you can see these are the tasks uh, in a week that i used in this style categorized style by weekly but then 
I thought that this would be perfect, you know, but that's the downside, which is it, it gets smaller when the month goes by. But for me, it doesn't matter and it doesn't bother as well. It doesn't bother me so much. So, but this is right here. I just want to tell you this is just so fun to look at your monthly. So, if you are planning to do something, um, I think this this insert is great you don't need this monthly anymore you can just have this weekly and monthly overview at the same time as well as there's so much space to write um, I've seen people to do trackers right here in this fold out it's just I love it I don't like fold out at, at first but after that I'm actually loving this. So for February, I try to do this format, which is the project planning stuff because I have something going on in February. Um, but as you can tell, it doesn't work at all. I tried, but I think for February, just there's so much going on. I didn't do this at all. So yeah, February, same thing for the first week. I didn't do anything and I just live it because it doesn't matter and it doesn't bother me. So much same thing. I didn't do anything, but on the third, uh, yeah, third week of March, I start using it fully. And then slowly uh, building up, slowly and slowly until comes April. This is when I found my groove, which is I have my lesson plan right here for my teaching. And I have the goal of every single month. And I love this. I love looking back at this. Uh, if you can see when I crossed it out, which means I did that in April. And baby steps right did like this. It's like what's made me happy, really. And then goes on, I, I added more stickers. Uh, you can tell that I don't do anything. But then as the month goes by, I tried Hobonichi Weeks. And this is actually a free pin printable stickers. I tried and it works in the Mon Weeklies. Hobonichi Weeks insert, um, sorry, sticker kit or matchable with this and I even added like the washes and it's just so beautiful so and then for me I still continue with my goals I love looking back at it more washi I try my best to you know to add up some pretty and cuteness right here and then I start moving and slowly um, I develop my groove at and from there, you can actually see the whole monthly views, and I love it. Can you see that? Just love that. Okay, and then I start more uh, notes right here. In June is the most productive month ever because I completed a lot of things, and I was surprised I can. And that 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 keep my mind focused. And I so this is the eat week. So. I don't really plan in on eat weeks because we are on the move. Sometimes we go p visiting family, relatives like that. Um, yeah. So what I did right here, uh, I just journal my week right here, and then I have things to get back after after this whole week of holiday, um, and then we go back and you know to do all the things. And then, um, for yeah, for the last month, I didn't plan anything, but I just put like this. Uh, her name is Sevi, uh, die cuts, and even um, Mariam Poppins die cuts. So I just put that inside. Um, you can tell this week was pretty busy. Um, yeah, what is this? Um, yeah, I even have notes that kind of thing. So there are days when I don't have time or the week that I cannot plan on it so I just leave it blank and then I still complete some tests and then it moves on and then for August I was for August I still have that goal stuff right there so for August I still have stuff um, August was 
when I got sick. And yeah, my mood was terrible. <laughs> if you read something, apologize. I don't have to apologize because that's just how my mood goes. And then this is like the following week. Uh, everything falls into place. And then I tried this. I tried playing Monopoly, guys. It's called Planopoly Spread. But I couldn't plan because I was sick. Yeah, I was sick the whole day, the whole week. And I was about to recover, but I couldn't plan in it. Probably I'm going to make another video with this. Because it's just so pretty, but I cannot plan or do anything for that week. So I just leave it blank because it's so pretty. And then um, catching up, and that's why I hit this. Uh, keep going, you are doing great. Just for a reminder for that week. And then I, I, this week was amazing. I went to see my... Um, my crush, my celebrity crush, and this is the group. So, yeah. And then I'm trying to be like focus on stuff. That's when I get being productive because when I get focused, I will, I have all these sorts of ideas to do and projects. So, this is like my washi swatch by Paper Gecko. And then I have a code for you in the description if you like. And then I start doing this. Um, this is the system. This is another system that I'm working on. Um, I will try to look somewhere right here for you to know. Um, yeah, I'm trying that out and it works well for me. I have a freebie as well. You can just l look into my description and you will find my freebie. I will show you later on. Uh, that's this is how my November and my October goes. Um, yeah, holly, holo, Halloween week, Halloween week, and then I still have this, oh I love this type of view, this kind of view, love it, it's just so minimal, that kind of thing, love, 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 so, and that's just the end of my November flip for, um, Mon Weekly by My Summer Touch, yeah. Alright, here's another tip for you. So in case you want to add like charms to your dividers or planner, you could actually punch hole. Okay, sorry for this. Um, I accidentally punched two holes, but I mean, this worked perfect. And this is actually from the fifth.my and she does this charms. It's so beautiful. I love it. So I just add some touch and my planner so you can see that dangle thingy yeah i love this i love this so much okay that's just a tip for you to want to add like charms to your planners okay so move on to my uh daily so my summer touch as well has this um beautiful fold out of dailies and i'll show you in the time lapse for this My daily is in a fold out from my summer touch and I love this as well. I have other types of inserts too uh, but I'm going to show you this fold out one and I love this. I always go back to this when I really want to have a really productive day or I don't know just to make lists. So uh, this is not in order because sometimes my daily are not consistent when I need it daily then that's when I use it if I don't I just plan it um, by list not not really a time and to do stuff like that uh, so I just have you a flip so normally I have the time right here my to do stuff in a day uh, if I do a lot then that's when I really am productive throughout the day. But if not, then yeah, just leave it. <laughs> so this is when I have like really productive day. And so this one is just like a note that I found somewhere on the internet. Or maybe hearing some um, videos, talk or speech like that. And sometimes I do it in weekly format. I... 
just don't want to have a lot of days or I just want to focus on one thing, one project. So I just make this type of list in this type of weekly. Same goes to here. So this is the, the week where I just like one week, two weeks and three weeks. I just do and everything right there. And I have days where I segregate with stickers. There are just days like this. And then, yeah, and it just goes on. Um, I love this view. I even love this view. I think I, I, I did this for a week. Look at that. It's filled out. This week is filled out. And then... Yeah, just giving you a flip. And then this is when I started using stems. This is actually not... Um, it's called a chronodex. If you're, um, you know about it, you can just search it or I can just leave like a um, picture right here. But this is actually another in, um, stance from Studio L2E. This is a stamp that I bought from Indonesia. Um, but it's just for me to know what time I'm doing. Uh, but I like it. I like it a lot. And then I have this type of time. I just try. You can actually do bujo. Yeah. This is a, a sort of like a bujo and the skis. Yeah, I like to incorporate that. And yeah, that's my daily. So this is another insert from my summer touch. It's actually a daily and a weekly time schedule. Oh my god. This is just so brilliant, but I cannot somehow to try and use it um because the space gets smaller and it really really irritates me but if you want to see your weekly uh and your time and that this is actually a perfect answer for you um yeah just gonna share you what's there and then look at that it's just so pretty isn't it like you can just match them up I love to see that. It's just so pleasing to look at. So yeah, I stopped using it, but it's just here to show you guys. So moving on to another insert. This is from Peanut Splatter Co. I will link the code down below. Um, I can't show you that much because I have private information right there. Um, but this is normally how I use it. Um, it's actually, you have to turn your page like that. Okay, so that's just from um, Penis Pinnacle and I always use this uh, when I need dailies and it, it sometimes doesn't follow sequence of dates. So next we have my summer touch daily and it's undated and I love this so much because I can plan whenever I like um, yeah and it doesn't have to follow dates uh, I do add stickers to it because I know I'm going to store them so this is how uh, I tried using this washi I you know this type of washi pasting and collaging has been like for few years back in it was a trend last time, so I tried to bring it back, uh, but I didn't manage to plan the, the day. Yeah, something got happened. Um, yeah, and then I just do that. I can show you um, when I was when I am productive. I have things like that, and then these stickers to write my mood of my day. Um, now I want it get full I don't want, that's when I usually plan a lot and do some actions throughout the day yeah. 
this is another insert for my son Natasha's wall because this is dated. I don't know, it's a personal Kanban method, but I don't follow that. It's just that I just do whatever that suits my daily needs. And then this is another daily that I tried by any plans. Yeah, and that's all for my dailies throughout the year. For December, I still have my summer touch, list lab insert, um, my summer touch daily goal, and then this is a uh, boost paper or dazzling printables. Yeah, and then peanuts vanicle like random. Um, inserts that I have. It's just that insert, I can just use whatever um, time and schedule. Um, most important is when I get to see my list going. Uh, yeah, that's the most important part for daily. So if you are interested in the weekly view, uh, I have this freebie download in the description. Um, yeah, it's just things that I always use or Okay, it's in the description box below. Alright, so this is like my gratitude log. Um, I try to keep up with dailies, but it's just not working somehow. But I will try to keep this one for next year, 2020. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up on that. And this is my meal plan insert. It's actually a meal prep insert from Peanuts Planet Cool. But I turn it into a meal plan, meal recording, that kind of thing. So I track all of my usually drinks. I don't drink coffee, so I drink like more of a chocolate and tea like that. So this is what my inserts going, and then I stop using this because Summer Touch came out with a new insert. Um, but actually, it refers to the same thing. Only that, let me show you. Um, you have dates and go what to eat. Um, your emotion. So it's like incorporate emotions and meal plans right here, or the things that you just eat. And then you have like you can um, calculate your intake for fruits, vegetables, diary, and so on. Okay, yeah, I, I was using it for a while, but I thought of um, using this deal for next year. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, that's just the end of this video. Just for me to recap and to show you my whole view of this year inserts so all shops for insert will be listed in the description down below and i would really appreciate you guys to give this video a thumbs up or any comments or any feedbacks uh, share it in the comments down below um, don't forget to subscribe because i have more videos and you don't want to miss that out. <laughs> so yeah, talk to you guys. Talk to you guys soon. Beware, they be asking me where you've been. I've been fighting my worst enemy from within. Cause I know, intention is key. Never did it for the one ringgit of popularity. Sebab itu cara aku cara tersendiri. Kalau sedap panggil Halim, minta putar sekali lagi. Aku asal